Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa performed Eid al-Adha prayers at Al-Sakhir Palace Mosque. Also performing the prayers with His Majesty the King were His Majesty's sons, senior members of the royal family and other worshippers. Head of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad al-Hajri, delivered a sermon in which he highlighted the noble values embedded in Eid al-Adha, namely fraternity, الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه. Head of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, delivered a sermon in which he highlighted the noble values embedded in Eid Al Adha, namely fraternity, solidarity, and compassion. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty King Hamad with the abundant health, happiness, and long life to continue leading the nation towards further achievements, security, stability, and prosperity. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with continued health and happiness to continue bringing about more achievements to the nation. He also wished the kingdom and its people further security, safety, progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership, praying to Allah the Almighty to accept everyone's fasting, night prayers and good deeds. <laughs> اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى أزواجه وآل بيته الأطهار وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين الأئمة المهديين والصحابة أجمعين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفق لي أمرنا لما تحب وترضى وخذ بناصيته للبر والتقوى اللهم بارك له في عمره وصحته وعافيته وبارك له في أنجاله وذريته اللهم وفقه وولي عهده الأمين وانصر بهما دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين اللهم احفظ جنودنا ورجال أمننا وحرسنا المرابطين على ثغور بلادنا اللهم كلهم معينا ونصيرا ومؤيدا وظهيرا 
اللهم وتقبل من مات منهم شهيدا اللهم تقبل من الحجيج حجهم اللهم اغفر ذنبهم وآتهم سؤلهم واجعل حجهم مقبولا وسعيهم مشكورا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأقوال والأعمال وكل عام وأنتم بخير Following the prayers, His Majesty exchanged greetings and good wishes with worshippers, wishing the kingdom and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further progress and prosperity. The worshippers extended their heartfelt congratulations on this occasion, wishing His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness to continue the march of success and enhancing the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. They exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing the two brotherly countries and peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. Both leaders exchanged good wishes on the advent of the Eid Al Adha, wishing both countries and their people continued progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone conversation with the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. The two leaders exchanged Eid Al Adha greetings and good wishes, wishing the two brotherly countries and their peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns of the blessed occasion. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. His Majesty the King and President Abbas exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking Eid Al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking Eid Al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty Sultan Hassan bin Qiyah of Brunei Darussalam. His Majesty the King and Sultan of Brunei exchanged good wishes, marking Eid Al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Pakistani Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif. His Majesty the King and the Pakistani Prime Minister exchanged good wishes, marking Eid Al Adha, wishing the two countries and their brotherly peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged congratulatory cables with the GCC Arab, Islamic and Friendly Nations leaders on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty the King wished them continued good health and happiness and their countries and peoples further progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on Eid al Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the occasion, wishing His Majesty good health, happiness, and long life, as well as further progress and prosperity to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and achieve all his aspirations for the nation and protect Bahrain under his wise leadership. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness, as well as further success in bringing about more achievements to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King also wished the Bahraini people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emperor of, his Jap of Japan, His Majesty Emperor Naruhito, on the death of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in a shooting accident. His Majesty the King expresses sincere condolences and sincere sympathy to the Emperor, the friendly people of Japan and the family of the late Prime Minister, expressing his denunciation of this criminal act which is contrary to human values and principles. His Majesty praised Abe's efforts and contributions to strengthening and developing the solid bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Japan and the development and prosperity of his country and the progress of its people, wishing his family patience. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also expressed condolences and sympathy to the Japanese government and people on the death of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in a shooting accident. His Majesty the King said we received with great sadness the death of the late who devoted his life to serving his homeland, Japan and its friendly people, recalling his prominent role and efforts in consolidating close historical relations and developing the foundations of joint cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain. His his Majesty wished his family patience and that Japan would continue the path of development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal decree pardoning and releasing 107 inmates who had been convicted in various court cases and served part of their jail terms. The royal gesture marking Eid al Adha reflects His Majesty the King's keenness to provide the pardoned inmates with the opportunity to reintegrate into society and participate in the Kingdom's development march. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. They exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing the two brotherly countries and peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged Eid al Adha wishes with GCC Arab leaders of Islamic countries, Crown Princes, and Prime Ministers. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations and best wishes for their good health and happiness, and their countries and peoples for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Crown Prince of Japan, His Imperial Highness Akishino, following the passing of the former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, in a shooting incident yesterday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his sincere condolences to His Imperial Highness, the Japanese people and Abe's family. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the criminal act that goes against human principles and values. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the efforts of the late Prime Minister in further enhancing Bahrain, Japan relations and wished his family and relatives patience and fortitude. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Prime Minister of Japan, Fumo Kishida, following the passing of the former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister offered his sympathies to the Prime Minister, the people of Japan and Mr. Abe's family. His Royal Highness also noted Abe's dedication and service to his country, adding that Japan and the international community have lost an exemplary leader who dedicated his life to his country. 
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today led the royal team in the Samarin International Endurance Championship in Slovakia for a distance of 160 kilometers with the participation of riders from Arab and European countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the horse bolt led the first stages of the race, which is held on five stages amid competition between the participating jockeys. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was keen to guide the royal team's riders in these stages and move at a steady pace on the plan set by the team to achieve the desired goals of participating in the tournament. The 160 kilometer race witnessed the participation of a number of the royal team's riders, namely His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Jafar Mirza, and Raid Mahmoud, and they managed to pass the first stages successfully. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the jockeys before the start of the championship as his highness provided great support to the jockeys before participating in the 160 kilometer race to achieve the goals set by the royal team in his international championship participation in the championship comes as an extension of the program that the royal endurance team is following under the directives of his highness sheikh nasser bin hamad al khalifa in preparation for participating in the next world championship to be held in italy where the team has achieved several european achievements in the past period Yesterday, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the last training session of the Royal Endurance Team in preparation for the Samarin International Endurance Championship in Slovakia for a distance of 160 kilometers with the participation of riders from Arab and European countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini sport of endurance made prominent strides in the European Championships this season due to the care the sport receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the constant support of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed his great confidence in achieving advanced positions in light of the Royal Team's possession of an elite group of distinguished jockeys. He also stressed that the goals set by the team in this participation will give the team a great incentive and extensive experience ahead of the World Championship. Sheikh Nasser witnessed the veterinary examination that was held in the Championship village participation in the tournament comes to qualify jockeys and horses to participate in the upcoming world championships which will be held in Italy as part of the program that the Royal Endurance team is participating in
Worshippers from all around the Kingdom of Bahrain perform Eid al-Adha prayers. The worshippers, including citizens and residents, perform the Eid al-prayers at mosques and open-air praying areas as per the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in an atmosphere of joy and tranquility. The Imams called on worshippers to benefit from the great values of the Eid by consolidating the Islamic precepts, precepts and spreading peace and good deeds. They also prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, wishing Bahrain and its people everlasting security, stability, and prosperity. The Eid is celebrated globally among the Muslims, to which concludes the pilgrimage to Mecca. Eid al Adha lasts for three days and commemorates the obedience, willingness, and devotion of Prophet Ibrahim towards his God.